Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to draw a simple toucan. So you can follow this through if you want to. I'm gonna start with a pencil. And we're gonna draw his um, face first. And his head. So we just do a curve like this. Stop it there. And then on this side, this is gonna be where the beak starts. So we're gonna draw a line down there like this. And then we're gonna curve his body slightly. Give him, you can give him as fat a tummy as you like, really. So curve it round like this. And this end here is gonna be his tail. So we can draw his tail in now if you like. You draw in two lines here, one there. And then another one here. Now, this is important now, this curve here. Actually drawing this a little bit high, so uh, probably just going to rub this line out slightly, just bear with me. Yeah, I've just got a little bit low here, so I'm going to rub out there, okay. So you'll, you'll understand why in a minute. So we'll bring this down here to about there, and then we're going to have his wing coming in here. His wing's going to curve like this. And then it, the, the other part of the wing is going to curve outwards like this. It's going to join at the end there like a tip. I'm going to try and get that same tip in there. And then that just extends to the tail there, okay? So, we're going to put him on a, uh, a branch of a tree in a minute because they live in South American rainforests, particularly the Amazon. So we'll put him on a branch in a minute. So. This is the important bit now. We want to get a really nice long beak in here. Curve it round like this. Now, this needs to be straight. So draw his straightest line here. And right at the end, you just curve the end of his beak there. Now, we do a straight line here. You can then do other lines here if you want to, but we'll do that with a pencil crane in a little while. Now, we've got to draw a white, because toucans have a white, normally a whitish plumage here. We'll draw it around here like this, and then we'll take it this way to join halfway down his tummy. Okay, so it's his chest area here. Now, do what looks like a Nike swoosh, like this. For his eye, okay, you can do that eye however you like, really. Then do his feet. We simply do looks like a half of an eggshell, like that for one foot. Then the idea is you're going to get a slightly smaller foot here. So we'll do that there like this. Okay, so now what we try and do is do a line here. Gonna draw the branch in now. So we can we can extend that as long as we want across here if you want to, but I'm just gonna do it like this just to make it uh, finish in this kind of area. Now we, what you want to do is try and draw you can draw a ruler actually. I'll probably get a ruler. Get a ruler now. You can do this freehand if you want to, but uh, if you're not confident drawing straight lines, we'll draw a ruler there right out okay and then what you want to do is see that whatever angle you've you've drawn here you've got to really do the same past his his feet here so but you want to get it so it goes narrower at this end than this end and finish it off there now what you could do is do a bit of an arty uh, leaf like this as many leaves as you like, really. Bear in mind that they live in the canopy of the rainforest, so you can, let's draw another one in here. You can do this multiple, multi-color, you could do them green or brownish green, whatever you like, okay? Um, you could do this with a, an open eye if you wanted to, but it looks here like as if the, the eye's closed. 
Now across here, I'm going to do some lines later on, okay? So pencil cranes are best for this. You can use felts if you want to. Um, depends on how detailed you want to make it. So I'm going to go with black at the end here. So what you want to do now is this area at the top here needs to be slightly lighter because if you imagine the light is coming in this way. So you want a slightly lighter greyish colour here and then much darker because the end of his bill tends to be black. Okay. What I'd do afterwards is um, I'd, I'd colour the whole outline black. Like if you watch something like The Simpsons or Family Guy or something like that, a cartoon, they tend to be, if you're doing a cartoon toucan like this, they tend to have black around the outside edge. You could leave it if you wanted to, it doesn't matter really. I just think it stands out a little bit better. So we try and shade this in all the same direction if we can. And uh, don't worry about pressing on too hard. I've just got an art, art pad here with a piece of paper underneath so it doesn't really go through to the next page. If you're going to use felt tips, you probably want to put a piece of paper underneath. Here we go. So you can see that I've left this little space here. So I'd, I'd colour around the outside a little bit here like this, slightly darker. And then I just leave this grey. I've got a really good uh, sparkly grey here, which you can actually colour over the top. I'm using the uh, Faber, uh, Faber Castell pencil cranes. Uh, and these come with some um, sparkly ones, which you can then colour over the top with it, it gives it a really nice effect actually. Um, so what you want to do now is use a red, maybe a brightest red, I'm probably going for a little bit too dark of a red here, um, I'll probably go for a, a slightly lighter red here. Now you, what you want to do is, um, most of this is going to be yellow, you want a stripe of red like this and then we'll have a stripe of orange behind that and the rest of this, this area is going to be yellow. Okay, so again, you, what we want to do is slightly follow this line now across here, with the red, because this is again where the light's coming in. And then with the orange as well, you're going to do the same. So you, it'll eventually look like either the beak's kind of got a curve, it'll show the curve a little bit better. Lighter orange here, lighter orange there, much lighter there, and then much darker here. So as you can see, I'm just colouring again, same direction if you can. Try and stay inside the lines. It's really important that I stay inside the lines. Here we go, we're just filling in the orange now. Slightly darker. There we go. Again, don't worry about this outside edge. If it's pencil crane, you can, a pencil, you can go over it in, in a, fine, uh, a fine line pen in a minute. Uh, or a sharp if you wanted to make it a, a thicker line, but we'll we'll discuss that in a minute. Um, so we'll infill this with red. It might mix with the black. Don't worry too much about that. That's just where the colour's bleeding a little bit. That's it. Looks quite cool. So we'll go through same process. Try and go in the same direction if you can. Depends how good you are with the pencil, really, kids. Okay, and then a lighter red above here. Try not to blend it in with the orange. And you could do, you could you could blend it in if you wanted to. It's probably like a little bit dark, that really. Don't worry too much again. Put one that's just dark in this orange up just so it matches. There we go. And then the rest of it yellow. So, again... Now, you've got to think about this as slightly darker because this is underneath his beak here and this will see less light, so we might change the yellow in a minute and just, just bring a bit more of a darker yellow in at the bottom. At this point, the, the light or the shade doesn't really affect the yellow too much, so we can go quite heavy at the top here. There we go. Try and stay in one direction again. If you've got a space like this, I'd normally go left to right or up and down. If you're going up and down, the problem is you might smudge whatever you, you've you already drawn over here, unless you've obviously done it in pen, and it won't really smudge too much if it's dry, but that's perfect. A little bit darker yellow in here. I might uh, just choose this one. This uh, Faber-Castell collection, about 60 
pencil cranes here, so uh, you might just want to get two or three different shades of yellow. So you want a darker, like a mustardy colour under here. And then this is all going to be kind of black, slightly darker blue down here, lighter blue in here. And while we're here with the yellow, we may as well do his feet. We just do, do his feet there. Again, you can go darker underneath here, so it looks like he's a bit of shade, shadow as he's putting his foot down onto the um, onto the branch. You can call it branch however you like, whatever colour you want to really. Um, I'm going to go for kind of a darkish blue on here, just to match this kind of blue coloration here. So uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go darker blue here. So you want the darkest of your blue. It's probably a little bit too light that. Darker blue here. We'll go around the outside of this wing. You want to show like a, a shadow. It's a little bit of light, I think, that one. And let's see what this is like. This is a sparkly blue. Yeah, you see it's probably a good colour. Quite like that shade. We've got the darker there underneath his wing. Again, this is a, a sparkly pencil crane. So we can just follow this all the way up. You can do whatever colours you like really with this. Um, most toucans are very dark or even they look black on the um, on the main body of the, the bird. They look almost black. I might put some black in this actually. Again, you're trying to stay inside the lines if you can. If you're very young, you might want to get somebody in your family a bit older to uh, go around the edges for you and you fill in, fill in the, uh, the middle. Up to you. I'm hoping if you're sat at home, you're not in school, you might want to have a go at this. Tomorrow's the first day of school's being closed to most students. I'm a teacher, so I'll be in. But if you can try and do, uh, most people ask me why, why can you draw well? Kids at my school often ask me that. And I just say practice, really. You just, I spent, when I was a teenager and younger maybe, when The Simpsons first came out, I just started drawing Simpsons characters like Marge and a poo and characters like that, so I moved on to kind of animals and animal art and did quite a lot of that when I was young. It's just practice, you do half an hour a day, you can think about shade quite well. See it's a little bit too blue this, and we'll finish this off in a minute. Normally go around the outside edge so I don't go over the lines first, even I do this, and I'm 44. So what you want to do here is try and keep a little bit much lighter here in this area. Try and keep this bit much, much lighter. And then darken it off after there. There we are. Now we want to try and blend this in underneath the um, underneath the wing so it's gradually going darker that's it I think I'll probably use a little bit of black on this now now again just watch I'll try and do this quite quickly obviously if I was going to do this on my own without being on video to show you guys I'd probably take a lot longer on this try not to smudge here try and keep your hands off the off the drawing, off the colouring, because you don't want to be smudging the colour colouring outside of the page, outside of the picture. There we go. Right, I might bring a little bit of black in now. Much darker, you want this much darker under here. So there you go, that looks better. Much darker colour in there. Might bring a little bit dark, dark up here as well. This a bit darker, maybe right around this outside edge here. 
Now you can colour this in white if you've got a white pencil crayon, but it's on a white background anyway, so um, don't worry too much about that. So what you want to do is try and go around here with a darker black, if you can. Now if you've done the blue underneath, it's just lighter the black really, just to darken it. If you want, obviously if there's light coming in from here, this bottom section is going to be much darker. I'm not done as finish this off, but I'm going to, I'm actually going to go over this much darker here. And finish this off with a really dark section underneath here. show this is a yeah, tail really so here we go again this is going to change to blue here this is going to be a little bit darker down this area bring this darker blue in a bit bright actually that might go over it on black probably will So you can just play with the colours now, really. Um, what you want to do is, the idea here is not to have any white space. You don't want to have white paper coming through. So you can go over it as much as you like, really. There we go, that's good. Enjoying that. What we'll do is just bring in a bit of a darker black here his chest. There we go. Then this has got to be a lot darker. I think we need almost black in here. There we go, that's better. Much better, see? You've got the you've got the definition in between the the bright yellow and the black. That's much better. So you see when my hands come over here, it smudged this area. I'm not to worry too much about that, really. So I want a nice bright blue now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and follow this line. Follow that curve. Okay. We're going to just colour this in nice and dark. This is a light blue I'm using here. Sky blue. There we go. So we want a slightly darker blue, so we'll try and get something that's like a, almost like a marine, maroon colour. Uh, sorry, um, like an aquamarine, like the ocean. I'm going to go over it on, in sparkle. Sparkle pencil crane. You don't have to use any sparkly pencil cranes, but it would be really good if you could use, if you could find one. It's a big red pack that looks like this that I've... I've got, and you can see that, yeah. It's my daughter's pencil crayons that I'm using here. There you go. And then we're gonna blend this in, so, again, I'll be going over this with a different Pencil crayon, make it much darker again. Here we go. There we are now. We're just going to fill in a little bit of black here because for some reason that uh, that's not really taken in that corner there. There we go. Better. Much better. Okay. So I've got this here now. Again, the tail needs a lot darker, a lot bit darker. We'll take that underneath here, underneath the wing. Now, what we can do is get a really fine line pen here, and we just simply go across like this. There we go. Now, I'm probably going to carry on with this pen now. 
because I'm going to go, this is a fine line, fine liner, black, let's colour this in with the pen. There we go, perfect that. Okay, now I'm not sure whether I'll carry on, I'll probably just take this pen around here, right there you go, maybe just around this edge here. Maybe do it all the way around here. So. And then this top curve needs doing so I'm gonna take it around here. Try and stay as neat as you can here now. If you go around the outside edge, a bit more like a cartoon I think. Something you can see on TV. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to just get these edges nice and smooth. Okay, so we can go around here. I'd potentially do this as well. This branch of this tree that we've drawn. So you can just follow the lines now. Something like this, yeah? Just follow this line down. Again, you could get the ruler back on if you wanted to. It might be quicker just to draw it down like this. And just be careful it doesn't smudge. Probably do the top one if I was going to do that again. I probably, uh, you see, I've gone over the, made a mistake there. I've gone over the, uh, gone over that foot. Even there. Uh, when you're drawing like this, sometimes you make mistakes. Now, if you're going to do that in pen, you're going to struggle to rub it out. So just be careful when you're doing that yourself. Um, okay, so. thinking browns let's make it look like a an actual branch of a tree nice and light this I reckon nice and light so let's just take it down like this it fades to white down at the bottom and what you want to do is try and get it underneath here a little bit darker so it looks like it's sat on this Darker underneath his foot there, and underneath this foot, and then just the top edge, maybe like this. Just shade it in so it just uh, fades away to white down the hip, this uh, bottom end, maybe. What I'm gonna do again is a little bit darker here, so it'll give give the impression that the tails over the top of the wood so it'd be much darker in this area here so we're just getting a shading in now there we go and it can go right out to put a light branch at the top if you like and then you simply just choose some colours for choose some colours for the leaves now maybe I don't know like a turquoisey quite bright green yeah um bluey green maybe something like that there we go. I might carry on with another colour in here, so I'll miss that, that leaf out and do this one the same. Like that. And then I might do something like a, I don't know, like a purpley, pinkish purple. In this one here. Like that. And then this one. And then I think we'll just go around the feet with the pen, so you can see clearly. There we go, perfect. And that is my token. When you ever go yourselves, even send me a direct message. I'm, I've got an Instagram page, Paul Bember Art. Remember artist it's called um, on Instagram um, maybe send me your picture of the one you've taken you, you've done yourself maybe so that's my token and uh, enjoy having a go at that enjoy the rest of your day see you later